Yellowstone is the granddaddy of all national parks and is one of the country's most popular travel destinations. And no wonder, as this park is in one of the most unique and amazing regions in the entire world. In this video, I'll show you how to get here, how to get around, where to stay, where to eat, where to get coffee, and importantly, what there is to do and see in America's first national park. At the end of the video, I'll also give you some tips and recommendations on how to make your stay in this magical place even better. Getting here can be quite the journey, and you can fly into the area as the closest airport to the park is Yellowstone Airport in nearby West Yellowstone, Montana. There's also other airports in Bozeman, Montana, Cody, Wyoming, and just south at Jackson Hole. Of course, you can always drive if you don't fly. You can enter the park by using one of its five entrances. It's important to remember that Yellowstone is enormous. In fact, it's as big as Delaware and Rhode Island combined. In Yellowstone, there's a scenic driving route called the Grand Loop. This road is roughly 142 miles long and forms a figure eight shape, connecting the park's major features, visitor spots, and historical sites. Don't forget though that the speed limit is 45 miles per hour and watch for wildlife crossing the roadway. Because you're driving, you will need fuel. Thankfully, there are seven gas stations in the park and a number of charging stations for electric vehicles. There are nine lodges and hotels within the park, but they do tend to fill up quickly, particularly during the peak season. It's best to make reservations well in advance, especially if you're planning on staying in one of the lodges. The National Park Service recommends reserving six to 12 months in advance, although I strongly recommend at least 12 months. Lodging in the park does tend to be a little bit on the rustic side and older, so don't expect Four Seasons Hotel Luxury. I personally think the best location to stay is at Canyon Village. It's fairly central and immediately adjacent to the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. Also, it's close by to Hayden Valley, Tower Falls, and Norris Geyser Basin. The other main attractions, such as Lamar Valley, Old Faithful, and Grand Prismatic Spring, are relatively easy to get to from this particular location. Now, if you're more of a camping enthusiast, Yellowstone has you covered too. There are 12 campgrounds within the park that can accommodate tents, RVs, or trailers. All of these campgrounds must be reserved ahead of time, except for Mammoth Campground during the winter, which is first come, first serve. Be sure you check out the Yellowstone website for updates regarding any closures of hotels or campgrounds due to renovations or natural disasters, such as the catastrophic floods of 2022. I have videos on lodging and camping in Yellowstone National Park linked below. If you prefer to stay outside of the park and drive in for the day, no worries about that either. Gardner, Cook City, and West Yellowstone in Montana, Cody and Jackson in Wyoming, and Island Park in Idaho are all fairly close to the park and have plenty of lodging. As for me, I'm going inside because I'm getting absolutely drenched. Yellowstone National Park has 20 restaurants from general stores and cafeterias all the way up to fine dining. All of the restaurants are located near park lodges and are therefore central and convenient to the attractions. Some of the more well-known restaurants include the Old Faithful Dining Room, which offers a rustic charm and panoramic views of the iconic geyser. For a more casual dining experience, visitors can head to the Canyon Village Dining Room the Terrace Grill at Mammoth Hot Springs, or for some Old West cowboy cooking, the Roosevelt Lodge Dining Room. For quick food or takeaway meals, check out the Lake Hotel Deli and Cafeteria in the Lake Village area. Another great option for fast and simple food are the general stores. There are 12 general stores in Yellowstone and four of them offer dining. As for coffee, you will find coffee in the park, but you won't find high-end specialty coffee stores or even a Starbucks. Once again, coffee is available near or around the lodging in the park. One of the popular spots for coffee is the Old Faithful Inn Coffee Shop. If you're near Canyon Village and that area, make a stop at the Canyon Lodge Coffee Bar. Another option to satisfy your caffeine craving is at one of the Yellowstone General Stores. There are 12 
located around the park. There are so many things to see and do in Yellowstone that admittedly, it can be somewhat overwhelming. But that being said, here are some of the top attractions in the park. Probably Yellowstone's most famous attraction is Old Faithful. This famous geyser erupts every 90 minutes or so, shooting water up to 185 feet in the air. It's one of the most popular attractions in the park, so be prepared for crowds. The area around Old Faithful is also well worth exploring, and it's called Upper Geyser Basin, and features a variety of geysers, hot springs, and pools that can be explored using the boardwalks and trails. The Grand Prismatic Spring is a large and colorful hot spring located in the Midway Geyser Basin in Yellowstone. It's the third largest hot spring in the world and is known for its vivid blue center ringed by shades of yellow, orange, and green. Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone is a surprise to many, but it is incredible in its own right. It features stunning views of waterfalls, steep cliffs, and colorful rock formations. The canyon is about 20 miles in length, as much as 1,200 feet deep, and 4,000 feet wide. Yellowstone Lake is the largest high elevation lake in North America and a popular spot for fishing, boating, and hiking. Lamar Valley is a vast and remote valley in Yellowstone, particularly well known for its wildlife. Hayden Valley is a picturesque open valley in the central area of Yellowstone. The area is known for its abundant wildlife and scenic beauty. Mammoth Hot Springs is a geothermal area in Yellowstone National Park, home to a series of hot springs, terraces, and featuring colorful mineral deposits in various shapes and sizes. Norris Geyser Basin is the hottest and most dramatic active thermal area in the park, with geysers, hot springs, and steam vents. Mount Washburn is a popular mountain peak located in the park that offers panoramic views of the park's geothermal features, forests, and mountain ranges. Well, this list of attractions only scratches the surface. There are many other popular attractions in the park to see, and I've left a link down below in the description on where you can find more information on the other attractions in Yellowstone. If you're visiting Yellowstone to see the wildlife, well, you have come definitely to the right place. The park is home to diverse animal species and some of the more commonly observed wildlife species in Yellowstone include the bison. Yellowstone is the only place in the United States where bison have lived continuously since prehistoric times. Think about that. And it's highly likely you will see some during your visit. But of course, there's more than just bison in the park. Another popular, although occasionally elusive animals include the grizzly bear and black bears, wolves, coyotes, elk, moose, pronghorn, bighorn sheep, and over 300 bird species. As for recreation, Yellowstone offers a wide variety of activities. Hiking, of course, is popular in the park, and Yellowstone has over 900 miles of hiking trails that range from easy walks to challenging treks. Some of the popular hiking trails in Yellowstone include the Old Faithful Geyser Loop Trail, Grand Prismatic Spring Overlook Trail, the Challenging Mount Washburn Trail, and the Fairy Falls Trail. Now, this only scratches the surface of hiking in Yellowstone, but a good resource is the National Park Service website, which is linked below. One of my favorite little treks is Uncle Tom's Trail, which was a great way to see the lower falls in the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone, but it's closed and there's no immediate sign of it reopening. Fishing is permitted in Yellowstone National Park, subject, of course, to regulations and fishing permits. The park has various rivers, streams, and lakes. Some of the more popular include the Yellowstone River, Lewis River, and Yellowstone Lake. Speaking of Yellowstone Lake, it also provides opportunities for boating, canoeing, and kayaking. You can rent boats or bring one of your own. While Yellowstone is certainly more popular in the summer, winter is also a great time to visit the park. Winter activities include cross-country skiing, snowmobiling, snowshoeing, and ice skating on the ice rink at Mammoth Hot Springs Hotel or on the frozen surface of Yellowstone Lake. Yellowstone will take several days to explore, of course, but if you have more time, 
don't forget about the park's neighbors. Close by and worth a visit include Gardner and West Yellowstone in Montana. To the east is Cody, Wyoming, and to the south, the incredible Grand Teton National Park and the must-see Jackson, Wyoming. Yellowstone can be a trip of a lifetime, and here are some tips and recommendations to make it just that. First, I highly recommend you stop into one of the 10, yes, 10 visitor centers when you're in the park. It's a great way to get updates on lodging and road closures, animal sightings, and maps for driving and hiking. Stay at least 100 yards away from bears and wolves and 25 yards away from all other wildlife. And do not touch or feed any wildlife. Speaking of wildlife, always carry bear spray and know how to use it. Don't forget, you're in bear country. For medical services, call 911. There are medical clinics at Old Faithful, Mammoth Hot Springs, and the Lake Clinic on the north end of Lake Yellowstone. The Lake and Old Faithful clinics are open seasonally, while the Mammoth Clinic is open year-round. You will need a park pass to enter Yellowstone. Passes can be purchased online or at any one of the five entrance gates to the park. And a few final tips are appearing on the screen now. So there you go, the incredible Yellowstone National Park. If you enjoyed this video or if it gave you some value, please consider liking it and subscribing to this channel. And if you're thinking of traveling south, click on my Grand Teton National Park video right here.